Yeah, yeah right do we there, do good? Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys are new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit that little bell so you guys are notified when we post and make new uploads. Today, me and Carla are back in the kitchen. Yes, we need another round of applause for Carla being back in the kitchen. Let's give it up to Carla. Y'all always try to downplay her and say she's never in the kitchen, but she's here. We're gonna support her, mm -hmm. always. But before we even dive into today's video, we gotta let you guys know that Carla is not feeling well. She's actually feeling like <laughs> <laughs> She's feeling like right now. So yeah. if you could send some love her way, she'd really appreciate it in the comments and her messages, whatever. Because she's feeling kind of down and because she's feeling sick, we're gonna make chicken noodle soup. We love the chicken noodle soup. We talk about it all the time. Every time I make it, Carla loves it. Do you really like it? Yeah, I tell you all the time. I've been asking Kevin to make this video for you guys for like the longest time. Today we're making some homemade chicken noodle soup. And there's a little bit of a twist because we don't actually put noodles in our soup. So I know that kind of defeats the purpose of the title, but it's still a really good chicken soup. And I'll tell you guys what we do in place of the noodles because it's way better in our opinion. Basically, we're making caldo de pollo. What she said. Yeah. She's not feeling that well, like I said, so she's gonna help me a little bit. A little bit. But we really don't want her touching everything. Really, yeah, she ain't, she ain't supposed shouldn't. to be this close to me she right now. She's supposed this. to be six yeah. feet. But she literally cannot resist me. Like, all day she's been like, babe, 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 babe. I feel you. Wanna hug? So before we get into this video, I want to give a big shout out to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. As many of you guys know, I've talked about BetterHelp in one of our videos in the past. That was just kind of like the beginning of my journey with therapy. I was very skeptical going into it because I came from a family that didn't really necessarily pay much attention to it. It was a kind of like a taboo thing for us. We just didn't really talk about personal things, especially with a stranger, which just seems so out of the norm for us going into better help like the beginning stages of therapy i was a bit skeptical because i was like is this gonna work out for me but i was willing to give it a try to be honest it has helped me in so many ways that i didn't know were possible whether it's in my mood or my work ethic or just my overall well-being whether it's just like small little problems that i didn't know were so like simple to just simply talk to someone it, and it just makes you feel so much better talking to someone about it and a professional that is gonna give you the right tools and the things that you need to maybe overcome some of those things i've gotten so much better and i'm not saying i don't have bad days because i think that there is days where i'm just like stuck and i'm not feeling a hundred percent or good and talking to someone does help i've really really enjoyed therapy and it's something that now I recommend to my family members. I'm like, hey, I know you guys aren't really into it, but like, I'm just letting you know that this is what helped me and I feel so much better that maybe you guys should try it out. I'm excited to continue my journey with BetterHelp. I'm excited to share some of the details with you guys as well. BetterHelp is one of the world's largest therapy services and it's 100% online. One of the really cool things is that you can tap into over 30,000 experienced and licensed therapists that can help you with a wide range of issues. All you have to do to get started is you answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy that way better help can match you with the right therapist from their network then you can talk to your therapist however you feel most comfortable whether it's via text chat phone or even video call I personally like to video chat with them just because I feel like I'm actually in like a therapy room without really having to go anywhere and it just feels better for me just having to see this person like that I'm actually talking to one thing that I really like about BetterHelp is that you can literally message your therapist at any time. You'll have someone to talk to right away, but you can also schedule any live sessions whenever it's most convenient for you. If for any reason your therapist isn't the right fit for you, you can also change to a new therapist for no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you would get from an in-office therapy with a custom therapist that is picked for you with more flexibility, more scheduling opportunity, and at a way more affordable price. So you guys can get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp, betterhelp.com slash KB and Carla. And I've also linked the link in the description box. So make sure to go check them out. And let's just get back into the video. I'm so excited to be sharing this recipe with you guys. So 
let's get to it. It's actually a really, really simple recipe. First things first that you need in a chicken soup is obviously chicken broth. Right here, we're actually using a bone broth because for us, I feel like bone broth is way more hearty. It adds a lot more flavor. There's way more flavor packed into bone broth, I feel like. And there's more benefits. Than regular chicken broth. But you guys can use chicken broth, chicken stock, whatever you guys like the most, use that. But we're using 64 ounces. This right here is the real key. This is a chopped vegetable mix from Trader Joe's and it has carrots, onion, and celery. These are like some of the core ingredients of a soup. And this is like the easy way because like the whole point of this is to make it as easy as possible. Mm, quick. So you can do this quickly and you ain't gotta do too much work. Everything's kind of pre-chopped all in this little package and it's good to go. So get this chopped medley mix from Trader Joe's. Then we have some cilantro and that is basically Basically, what you only give this as a garnish or do you actually put that in there? We put it actually in the soup at the end and also as like a garnish as well. And then potatoes and you cannot forget the serrano peppers because that, it just makes it so good and delicious. We have seven serranos, but me and Carla really, really love serranos. But I'm gonna give you guys a warning. If you're not used to spicy shit, do not get the serranos. They're spicy. I remember the first time I got them, I was cutting them up and then I touched my oh, eye yeah. and my shit was burning for like three hours. Don't be like me. We also have a lime, just one lime. Right here, we also have some chicken bouillon. This is actually really good. Just get a pack of chicken bouillon. These are really cheap. We also have some garlic powder, some paprika, some danos. We also have sazon. <laughs> sazon. We also sazon. have some sazon, and this is also the key. Carla honestly put me on this sazon. I'm really not even sure what's in sazon, but <laughs> I know for a fact that when I put this up in there, that's good as hell and it gives it some color and some it just be vibing it's a vibe so get two of these we also have just some salt and some pepper and we're gonna season to taste as we go lastly guys we have a pack of chicken breast tenderloins you guys can use honestly chicken breasts chicken thighs whatever kind of meat you got i mean it don't even have to be chicken but if it's some chicken just throw it in there you could literally use like the the whole you know that five dollar like chicken from um like costco like uh -huh, the whole one uh -huh. Use whatever you guys want, but we're using chicken breast tenderloins. I like using these because they're a lot more tender. I know it's in the name, but they're actually like more tender. So when you're biting into the chicken, it's yeah, easier it's to eat. They're not like rough and like chewy. For this, you honestly need a, like about a pound. This right here is like two and a half pounds. So we'll probably use like half of this pack. Other than that, that's all of the ingredients, guys. We're gonna just jump right into it. Are you ready? Yep. So if you guys are ready to see this, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, Let's get to it. We're gonna boil the chicken first. That way we can take it out and then shred it up and put it into the soup. Also guys, you don't have to use a pot like this. I'm not sure, is this like a ceramic? Yeah, I think it's like, like this. Is there a special name for this, Trina? Yeah, I think there is. Whatever kind of pot this is, try to get one similar. All I know is that when you cook soup and stuff in here, like it really retains the heat really well. You can cook it on low and like it keeps, it keeps, the, it. keeps it warm, you know? Chicken will boil for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's done. How you feeling? You okay? <laughs> Next thing we're gonna do is prep everything else. With the potatoes, you wanna cut these. It doesn't have to be any particular size. You can literally cut them up however you want. I'll probably cut this big piece in half. Cut this one in half too. The same one for this side. Into pieces. Honestly, this might be too many potatoes, but we'll just cut them all anyway. We should try to make like homemade french fries one day. Ooh, yeah. Boom. Um, you bought these for me as a gift, didn't you? Or yeah. no? Yeah, she knows I love cooking, so. Potatoes are done. So now we're just gonna cut up the serrano peppers. You say serrano so much better than me. Say serrano. 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 I like a nice chunk in the bite. For people that don't know, I used to work in a kitchen. I do know how to do a lot of stuff, actually. Yeah, they be trying to play you. What do you got to <laughs> say to people that try to play you? That you don't know me like that. Y'all don't know her like that. Y'all heard what she said. <laughs> Shots fired. Y'all don't know her like that. She really be doing a lot of stuff. Don't say that. that this house doesn't run without Carla. This house doesn't run without Carla. All this stuff you see in the background, all this decoration, Carla. These are our little serrano peppers. This, these are like the perfect bowl, so like you have your little... Be careful, <laughs> do not touch your eyes. <laughs> I have to be careful because I keep blowing my nose, so... But it'll be good for you with your cold because it'll help clear Honestly, it'll you clear out. me out. Maybe not my eyes, so... <laughs> so next up, we have our cilantro. 
So what I like to do, I usually like to start at the bottom, like the stem. A lot of people actually get rid of this whole thing, but a lot of the flavor does carry from the stem. So I'll only cut like a little tiny bit off. You can immediately like with cilantro, I feel like you can it smells so smell fresh. Smell huh? it, yeah. I can actually smell this, and my nose is like, yeah. You should get your mom on here for a good video. Oh yeah. One thing I will say, my mom really does know how to cook really well. Like growing up, unfortunately, she didn't have that much time to cook for us because she worked all day but when she cooks she really cooked like so good and also she worked in the kitchen a lot and so did i i worked with her in the kitchen as well so she taught me a lot about it these are the three ingredients that we just chopped up which is your potatoes your cilantro and your serrano peppers i said serrano peppers serrano peppers <laughs> and then obviously we have our mix that's already good to go so mm -hmm. You do have the option, obviously, of doing it. Do that homemade. Do that homemade, but this makes it if you so want much to make easier. it easier and faster, this is the way to go. And it still tastes exactly the same, literally. So now we're gonna check on our chicken that we've been boiling since the beginning. Let's see if it's done. So we're gonna take this off, put it into a bowl. And what I like to do is pour a little bit of chicken broth, or like we said, we're using bone broth. Pour a little bit of bone broth on top. Like seal, I kind of spilled it. <laughs> now that we have the chicken in here with a little bit of broth, you want to shred it up. And normally I like to do this with my fingers because it's a lot easier. I wish I had gloves because right now the chicken's really fucking hot. What I think I'll do is I'll wait and we'll start the next step before we shred up the chicken. The next step is we're gonna spray some avocado spray onto the pan. And this one's from Trader Joe's. This is like our favorite one. We use it literally for everything. We got our mix from Trader Joe's as well, which is celery, carrots, and onions. That's what it looks like. Oh, look at that color. It looks so bright. Now we're gonna add in also the potatoes. What I like to do is like kind of saute everything together a little bit, get a little bit of browning going, and then put the chicken broth or chicken stock or bone broth after that. We're just gonna mix this around. Drop it in there. Two packs of Saison. Why are you laughing? Saison. Saison. Sprinkle that around. Two. Next up, we're gonna put some salt and pepper. We have these electric salt and pepper shakers. We got these from Amazon. Everything we use today will be linked down in our description and you can find anything from this video. We're gonna come in with some garlic powder. Smoked paprika. Me and Carla love red pepper flakes, so put red pepper flakes. So back to the shredded chicken situation. Chicken's a lot cooler now, so I'm gonna try to go in here with my hands. You could also do this with like two forks, but like it's just easier to just get up in there, make sure your hands are clean. Also during this process, we're gonna get rid of any of these like little fatty parts like this. Like I don't really f with that. Chicken is done, we're gonna put this into this mixture as well. Just put the whole thing in there. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna stir this up. Then we're gonna add in some minced garlic. And then you're just eyeballing it. Yeah, just eyeballing it. And you see how it's like kind of browning at the bottom of the pan? That's a good sign. Because it'll go all back into the soup. It already smells really good. There's not even any chicken broth in here at all. This is the perfect thing to make. Like now that fall's coming back up, this is it. Like I'm telling you, this is so good. And me and Carla, we eat soup no matter what time of year it is. Like we don't care if it's hot. So now we're gonna put in the bone broth. Oh. This one, I might need your help. You can't open it? I thought she was strong. Fenty, I thought she was strong, what happened? Wait, I got this. You want me to do it for you? No. <laughs> you gonna use that? 
This smells so good and you can literally drink it if you wanted to. Ooh. And also guys, our broth may look a little bit darker compared to yours because we're using bone broth and you guys might be using like chicken broth. So that is why it looks a lot darker. Ooh, that looks so good. I know, I literally, my mouth is watering. The last thing we forgot is half a lime. And this I feel like does make a big difference. Seal it in, let it sit for about 45 minutes in, in medium heat. I'm excited to eat. The whole house is gonna be smelling like chicken noodle soup. Well, chicken soup. A few moments later. So it's been about 45 minutes. The whole house smells like chicken soup and it just smells so good in here. Like I'm so hungry. Are you ready to eat? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's see how the soup is coming along. You guys see this? This is looking pretty good. Can't wait. Gonna add in some cilantro. Just kind of eyeballing it. You don't want to do too much, but it's about good. Then we're gonna mix that up as well. Ooh, now it's coming together. That looks pretty dang good. And there you have it. Chicken yeah. soup. This is usually the part where if you had noodles for your chicken noodle soup, you'd add in the noodles. Me and Carla personally don't like having noodles because they get really soggy. But when we do eat it with noodles, like we'll cook the noodles separately and then we add the noodles into our bowl after the fact. You know how you get some soup and like the noodles are super soggy? We don't want that. Instead, me and Carla use brown rice. These little packs of rice from Trader Joe's. Put them in the microwave for three minutes and the rice comes out perfect. I don't know if you guys are ever trying to make rice on the stove or sometimes even in the rice cooker, like it comes out weird. But these always come out really good. So we're gonna do that right now. Put that in here for three minutes. I, I usually do a little bit more. I'm actually gonna do like four because sometimes it doesn't be doing it enough. Each microwave is also different. And then we're gonna start that, wait for that to be done, and then we can plate the soup. The rice is done. This is how the rice comes out. Like I said, it literally comes out so perfect. Shout out Trader Joe's, man. If y'all want to sponsor us one day, let us know. This is honestly just however much you like. More rice, obviously you will have more rice in your bowl. I'm gonna make this one for Carla though. So she likes it not too much. Is this good or you want more? A little more? No, that's good. You sure? Yeah. So you add a little bit of rice at the bottom like this. And we're gonna pour it into the bowl. Mm. Get another one. Another one. So we're gonna add a little bit more broth just to give her some more soupy vibes. All right guys, so now we have our two bowls and now we're just gonna add a little bit of cilantro on top. I'm gonna add some cilantro on this one. Me and Carla love serranos. Did I say it right? Yeah. Serranos. I'm using a spoon because these be these spicy. Just sprinkle them around in there. Carla likes a lot, you want more than that? Yeah. Yeah, you're built different. And then for me, I'm gonna do a little bit because I'm not too crazy about these. <laughs> It is still a lot. Nah, I'm gonna do like that. That's cool. Yeah. Lime. Lime. And that is the finished product. So I'm gonna taste it. Ooh, it just burst it out. It's juicy. Look how good this looks. Oh my God, my mouth is literally watering. You guys see how the rice is coming yep. through? You see the rice right there. You can also, I like to eat it sometimes with like chips. Just get a little crunch. Tortillas or something. Mmm, bussin. Mmm. It's the one. Did, that I, right did we do there good? Just cured my cold. Cured your cold? That's so good, babe. I'm gonna eat like this all week, watch. Yeah. I give it a 12 out of 10. I'm telling you guys, it's so easy to make. My man, my man, my man. For mine, I'm gonna add a little bit of red pepper flakes. Cause I like this shit to be spicy. Everything we got today is from Trader Joe's, low key. But we got this Trader Joe's Sriracha cause we can't find Sriracha, there's like a shortage. And they try to charge like $50 for a bottle of Sriracha. I'm not doing it. And then we're gonna mix that up a little bit. Mine's a little bit thicker because I put more rice. I like mine to be a little bit thicker. She likes more soupy vibes. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna get a nice little bite with the serrano in there. Hopefully it's not too hot. Are the serrano's really hot? No. Okay, because I'm telling you, know. one time I, I was, they was hot as <laughs> We appreciate you guys watching another cooking video. Cheers.
Mm. <laughs> yes. Oh, that Serrano. <laughs> That Serrano has a really good kick though. The flavor of like the bone broth, the chicken, the everything coming together like and the rice is like perfect. I'm telling you guys, I feel like you guys would love it. Try it out, it's super easy. And I'm ready to eat. You ready to eat? Yeah, I'm ready to eat. I'm excited to eat. I need my Coke Zero though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the last thing we can never forget for Carla, let's go over to our fridge. So we got a bunch of stuff in here, but Carla loves, 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 love Coke Zero. So we're Please sponsor me one day. Yeah, Coca-Cola, please. <laughs> we're gonna get her a nice little Coke Zero. And I like to open it for her so she doesn't break her nails or anything. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. So that is it for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We really, really like it. You said you gave it a 12 out of 10? 12. I'm gonna give it like a 15 out of 10 because I think it's really, really, really good. Fall's right around the corner. It's about to get chilly. It's about to be spooky season. Mm -hmm. You can make this chicken soup recipe and I'm telling you, it's gonna be fire. So make sure to comment down below what you guys wanna see next. Honestly, we have a lot of recipes that we make that I feel mm. like I love them. So I feel like any everybody will love them too. So let us know what you guys wanna see next. I mean, we started making cookies now, like homemade ones. Yeah, like a dessert. We can make like a dessert. We can make a dessert. We can make a Another meal, there's, I mean, there's so many meals that we actually, I feel like you make at home that are really, really good and that are easy yeah. and healthy too. So yeah, make sure to comment down below. Let us know. Let us know down there in the comments. See. Hopefully next time I see you guys, I'm all better, but this soup right here is gonna definitely help. It's gonna give you a nice little boost. Yeah. Okay guys, well, we'll see you next time. We're gonna finish our soup. Peace.